In my last video, I told every one of you we need to go on offense. And today I want to take a few minutes and I want to share with you somebody who has gone on offense. At His Way at Work, we are all about helping businesses to transform their workplace with God's love. We want to provide the tools, the resources, the methodology to do that. But I want to make sure that we never lose sight of the practical to-dos in the everyday business. And so I've got today, Peter Freisler is here with Polydeck. Peter's not just the CEO of Polydeck, but he's also the founder of His Way at Work. And he's going to share with you what he and Polydeck's leadership team and the entire caring organization has been doing over the last several weeks relating to the coronavirus and all that's been going on. So please pay attention, take some notes. You're going to get some great ideas here. Well, thank you, Chris. I appreciate this opportunity to share a little bit about what we're doing. Um, I think that the key for us as a company is to really live out our core values, to live them out every day. And especially in this pandemic, we're stuck in this place where our employees are, are fearful. They're fearful of their jobs. They're fearful of what's happening with their families. They're fearful of a whole bunch of things. And what they need is a leader. And Pope Francis says it really well, we should smell like the sheep. And so what we did at Polydeck was we, first thing we did was go out there and be part of, uh, of our community. We did four things primarily. The first thing is we got our uh, employees in groups of 10 and we shared with them, you know, that we care about them. We shared our principles, our faith. And then at the end of that session of, of caring, we challenge them a little bit by saying, you know, in moments of crisis, we can either turn to God or turn away from Him. And we had many employees of different faiths there. And it was interesting to see when I invited them at the end of the talk to pray, that they bowed their heads in ways I've never seen before. So this crisis is at a really good time for us to be out there and to love on our employees spiritually. And, you know, just prayed for them, prayed for their families thank them for being part of our community and our, our work environment and just loved on them through the prayer and then ask God for help. And you know, that's a, a powerful image. The second thing that we did was we tried to repurpose our caring funds. We went out there and we went to the caring team because they're the ones that know best how the funds should be allocated. So we traditionally had done a big Carowinds day, which in our language is a huge, um, amusement park that we go to and we've got six seven hundred of our employees and their families at that event the guy said no we need to stop that thing and we need to repurpose those funds and help employees with basic issues so they started a, a thing called a benevolent fund where they went around and looked for people who are either sick at home or have family members that are sick or people in their families that have lost their jobs really critical issues and they went and started collecting funds for those individuals. And the caring team took funds and matched those four to one. So there's several employees who got a lot of money. The third thing that we did was, for example, we had a uh, Easter egg hunt for the little kids in our community. And what we did was we stopped that because we can't gather anymore. And we took that principle and we created these little bags, several hundred of these little bags, which we now send home with our employees to their families with little notes inside here of what the Easter story is all about. Little Easter eggs, little things inside there, plus a $25 gift card from the caring team for employees just to say, hey, you know what? We care about you and we love you. The fourth thing that we did was we realized that many of our high risk employees that are older needed special care. So what the team did is they went and said, okay, all people over a certain age, you go home. No questions asked with full pay. And I tell you that it was an emotional moment. There were many people that just broke down in tears and said, thank you for caring about us and our families in a special way. And lastly, what I want you to think about is this whole concept of rebound caring. At the tail end of this thing, when this thing is finally over, we're gonna have a lot of employees coming back with all kinds of trauma in their lives. Maybe some of them didn't have the kind of money that they expected they or held back. So. Maintenance on their cars probably is not where it should be. Things around the home, not where they should be. Whole areas of their lives are gonna be disrupted and all kinds of trauma. Employees, many of ours, we sent home and working remotely. Can you imagine people working in a small area together living? 
that causes all kinds of domestic issues. Make sure that you have caring facilities and caring plans to care for those things. And the best place to ask is your caring team. Have them check it out and find out what the needs are in your company and then address them in a caring, kind and, and loving way. Well, thank you for your time. I know that you're in my thoughts and prayers. May God bless you. Amen.